Hey guys, Pai here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm back at Test Studio here in Tustin, Orange County, California because um, finally I'm getting the yoke steering wheels installed on my Tesla Model 3. I've been wanting to get it installed for a long time but I don't have a proper tools and then I'm always afraid of that part that you have to remove the airbag out. So I was always skeptical how to install this but finally um, there's a shop that can do that the whole installation for me and also they're having a special awesome deals on the yoke steering wheels with the installation I will show that um, the pricing in the end of the video later all right um, so I just got my car in the shop now let's go So these are the two um, yoke steering wheels that they are having a promotion um, here at Test Studio with both the product, the wheel itself, and the installation. So this is the a regular one with um, no carbon fiber and just similar uh, material on the handle here from the OEM steering wheels. And then this is the one with carbon fiber and Napa leather. So this is a little bit different. Um, I believe this is probably about 100 ish more than the regular one. I will let you know the price of the bundle um, later in the video. Let me show you the side by side comparison first. As you can see here, the texture and the quality of the handle on the regular one. And this is the quality on the Napa leather one so it's you can feel it it's a little bit softer more comfortable to hold and then it has also has this really cool carbon fiber trim on the side so this is the matte carbon fiber i'll be installing this version um, in my tesla model 3 because i have a matte carbon fiber trim on both the dash and the door trims right here so it will fit perfectly with the rest of the interior. So here's Brian, one of the technicians here at Test Studio. So um, how long does it usually take to install the um, yoke steering wheels? Uh, roughly about 45 minutes for us. Um, however, if you're doing this at home by yourself, take your time, take it easy, and that way you don't end up running into any mistakes or you know not putting the airbag correctly and putting yourself in danger. <laughs> so what, what tools do we need to install this yoke steering wheel? So we do recommend using ratchets that you have at home. We do have this one right here. This is what we're gonna use to break the bolt. This ratchet right here just to remove the tinier screws like the from the T-tools. And then at the end, when you're putting the steering wheel back on, you're gonna use a torque wrench because you wanna to torque it back to spec for your own safety. All right, awesome. Let's start the installation. So first we have to, of course, uninstall the OEM steering wheel first. So what's the first step here, Brian? So uh, we usually recommend just using any of these um, slimmer screws and everything right here due to the fact that you are gonna actually slip it under here and there's going to be a, a little clip or whatsoever that you're going to feel somewhat and this is what's actually going to release your airbag so you're going to slip it in and that allows you to open it you have to find it first it takes a bit of a second so you feel like a, some kind of clip in there right yeah you look for it so do you have to do it on the both sides at the same time? You no, you don't have to do both sides at one time. See, I can okay. lift off one side right here. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah. I, I heard the click. Yeah, once you hear that click, it lifts right there. You go to the other side. So pretty much the same location, but it's on the other side, right? Correct. And then you just want to do so as well. Look for that little click that you can get. You'll feel it with your hands. Just take your time. Don't um, rush the process whatsoever. Yeah, because yeah. that's the part that I'm scared to do it myself because uh. <laughs> I don't want the, the airbag just to pop in my face, you know. Oh, no, nobody, nobody likes that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. So if, if you're doing this by yourself, I, you know, suggest just take your time to find yes. the right spot. Mm -hmm. Right now, just popped out. Yep, and then from there, you'll see your airbag wire and the other wire that's going to be holding into all of your other hardware. However, all you need to do to get to this is simply place your hand in right here, move the clips in, and remove it. Before you remove um, any plugs, they recommend to turn off the power of the car first to make sure you know you don't um, screw anything up. 
a lot of power on. So that's the plug. That's the main plug. Right yep. There. This oh, is the, the airbag, right? Yep. This is the plug for the airbag. So once you remove this, you are safe. So let me just get that real quick. This one is really tight. So take your time taking it off because you don't want to pull and damage it. And next minute later, you don't have an airbag. So take your time. It's just these two clips right here. You'll push down and you'll push down. And then this will allow you to release. It is really tight though. So we will need, need we will use the same airbag. That's the OEM airbag. Yes, factory. yes, you will use your factory airbag. The closer look of the um, OEM Tesla airbag in the back right here. So we will use um, the same airbag again. So we're not replacing this. So this um, the safety will still be the same as the OEM one. This is what it looks like inside. So next he's gonna have to um, unscrew this bolt. First he has, I think the first time you unscrew it's gonna be a little bit harder because you have to kind of um, break it out and then unscrew it. All right, so um, before we remove the bolt, you have to make sure the steering wheel is right in the center. Um, it's not turning. So right now we can remove it out. Yep, I would also recommend when you're actually placing this on to remove it to actually stiff your legs right here because you pulling this will rotate everything so your legs will be able to hold it in place. Mm -hmm. But if you have a friend that's nearby and they can hold on to the handle as well. But if you're doing it at home by yourself, you got your legs. So from there. There you go. There you go. Yep. So that one, first one, and then the rest would just be um, yeah. really simple. The rest of it's simple. And voila, it's off. So just the whole serum with just that one screw. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. That's it. So a uh, small recommendation for when you're actually removing the steering wheel, um, give it a good little hit around the edges of the steering wheel. The main reason why is when the factory individuals install this, they put about 42 foot pounds here and that's a lot of weight from you moving back and forth. So it's going to be really locked in. So when you actually attempt to pull it without breaking it loose, you might hit yourself in the chest or just hurt yourself in some sort of way. So just for your own safety, make sure to hit around to break it loose a bit. Okay. So similar to this. And then that way it breaks loose easier. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks a lot easier when you, you know, you did that first. Mm -hmm. And okay. then from there, you will see the wires exposed here, and then you would just simply remove that, like so. So that's the wire for all the switch on this. Yep. On the steering wheels. Yes, sir. That plug just came out, and now you will be able to remove the whole steering wheel. Yes, sir. So mainly just the two plugs, right? The yellow one and, and the brown, the brownish brown. red. Yes, that one. Yep. And then from there, everything will be straight out and you'll be ready to swap everything out for the other one. So basically, we're going to be pushing these clips inward. Um, the main reason why is you're going to be removing this portion right here of the steering wheel and you're going to be moving it onto your new aftermarket one. So first, the easiest way to do about it is go right here. I would recommend just getting a small little flat head or something like that. Move your hands into it and then just push the clips outward. That way you can push it down or you can pull it down yourself as well from the other side. It's not that difficult. Just take your time. That's one. That's two. And then there's three. Okay, so a little plastic, black plastic clip. Pretty yep, a little tiny black plastic clip. That's all that's holding it. Pretty simple. And then from there, you will see that this is hanging loose now. So there is going to be two little wires on the side right here. You'll be able to just pull off right here. And get a little pinch and then it'll come right off. One. So those are for the, the wheels control yes, on both those, sides? Yep, those hold the controls on both sides right there. Okay. Yep, there you go. You'll be able to place that there. And then from there, you will have to actually remove this whole housing because the heating portion of it actually has a module right here that you will be moving over to your new aftermarket one as well as the controllers. You're going to be removing those over as well. So to remove this casing right here, you would need a T25. I recommend an extension to give yourself some room and a ratchet and from there you would simply just loosen these four bolts right here one two three and four 
and then this will allow the casing to come off. From there, now you have the ability to lift the case offwards. If you do have any difficulty of getting it open more, just place your fingers in between here and just slowly move your fingers along and this will allow it to come off. You will feel a little bit of a resistance right here, don't worry, it just comes straight out. Oh, okay. Yep, and the same thing on the other side, you'll feel a little resistance, like I said earlier. Don't worry about it too much, it will come out. So just like a little plastic clips inside. Yep, that's all about it. And then from here in the bottom as well, you would do the same. Just keep moving your finger along. Allow it to kind of give itself out to you. Just take your time. And voila. Everything's off. Just give it a little bit more touch everywhere. And bada bing, bada boom. So we, we will remove this, this, and this. Exactly. And, and then, then swap it to this thing where it's right here. Mm -hmm. And then there is a little tiny clip right here, or not clip, wire, and you would just have to remove it right here. So, so that's a heating element. Yep, that's the heating element. And then you'll be using the one on the aftermarket, you'll be plugging in right there. Awesome. So if you choose to go with the non-carbon fiber yoke, like this one, because it has the same material here, um, you can pretty much um, swap the whole thing. So you just take the OEM one, Remove that and then put the OEM on top. But if you go with the carbon fiber, you're going to have to um, take all of this um, uh, switches and the heating elements out and then you have to put it on the carbon fiber one underneath. So uh, to remove it, you'll be looking at these screws right here, the tiny ones. I'm using a T6 to remove it. So one right here. here and another one right here and then for the bottom one you will actually be using a t10 i have a one on the ratchet right here um, and from there you'll just loosen and then everything should come off nicely as well that's t10 right yep t10 as well And this will allow you to remove the casing of it. Take your time, it'll come off. So there is clips right here on the side. So we recommend either sliding something under just to help you release it a little bit to allow you to slip it out easier. Uh, it's usually just slip it in a little bit and then from there it comes right out without any issues. You will also have it on the other side right here, just one. You slip it in right here. Tiny, tiny little scap to allow you to clip it off. Same thing on the other side right here. So same thing on the other side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. And then you are good to go. This will be moved right over to your aftermarket one. And the main reason why you're doing this is the controllers that are provided with this may not be compatible with your car. So we always recommend using your OEM one. This allows you to guarantee that it's gonna work no matter what and you don't have to move the OEM um, heating wire because you will be provided one with the aftermarket. So this will plug in right here and then we're gonna go ahead and start moving this over. All right, so he took the, um, the elements from aftermarket wheels out so we can replace with the OEM modules yep and the heating elements and the buttons left and right all right so i'm placing the screws that was provided with the aftermarket steering wheel which is a t25 however your package may be different so just keep an eye out for that and then from there you would simply just do what you did before where you loosened but now you're just tightening All right, and then just do a nice little double check, make sure everything's tight, so nothing's moving around when you're driving around. This one comes with the heating function, so we're gonna plug into the heating wire right here, make sure all that is set up and ready to go. 
like so and you would just push that back into this slit right here and it will sit under there and then same thing here don't forget when you first took this off plug this back into the clips one right here and the other side as well I'm pushing it right back into here and then now basically this is ready to be placed back onto the car and um, as you can see here the housing um, actually it's from Tesla so this is the part that um, came from the aftermarket um, but they actually bought it from Tesla this whole thing and then they changed this part all right now let's put the yoke in my car all right so you're gonna place it like normal make sure that you're as close as possible to center and that way you don't have to worry about getting anything fixed back all right there you go go it's gonna take a little bit of finesse to get that to sit in perfectly when you place and try to push the, the new steering wheel in it's still like a space here so it's not all the way in yet so um, how do we try to put all the way in so the main reason why it won't push all the way in is simply for the fact that um, pushing it back in is really really tight and doing it manually is very difficult. So what we do and we recommend is actually getting the deadbolt that you have here and screwing it on just to catch a few thread. Um, and that way, once you do, you can use the ratchet mm -hmm. to allow this to move the steering wheel inward for you. That way, this is doing the work for you versus you doing the work. So it's slowly going in, you can mm. see. And there you go. That gap is now gone and it's all the way in. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. And then from there, you would just move to your torque wrench. So we have our torque wrench here now to torque down the deadbolt. Um, factory is 42 pounds, so we set it there on ours. However, if you're doing your own at home, double check, Google it to confirm your torque spec for which model you have or what year you have that may vary so for your own safety make sure to take care of that but from there you would just torque it down like so there you go and we're good to go this might be a little stuck on there but everything else will come perfectly and then from there you'll be plugging the OEM harness back on and then we're gonna be bringing the airbag back in plugging that in and slipping it all back in so like I said grab your airbag wire make sure to plug that in when you're doing so make sure your car is powered off especially since Tesla's like to turn back on all the time when you're going in and out so keep an eye out for that so nothing pops in your face there you go clips back in like so and from there you'll just slide it back in slowly and then there's going to be a lot of honking at this portion, so don't do this at night. You won't bother anybody, but you'll be pushing in and and then you're good to go. That's it. So you had to click on both sides, right? Yep. Clicks so all three portions right here. Basically the part that we undo from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So that's it for the installation. It looks really, really cool. Mm -hmm. Somewhat simple, but complicated. For some reason so that's the reason why you know i'm here so you know professional like him can do it for me and check out test studio they are really really good at what they're doing looks really really cool so now as you can see all the carbon fiber trims here 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 are matches and now i can see this um, screen perfectly and the view is way uh, more open now let's test the button here and you know, make sure it works and then boom, up and down it's working everything works great the horn it's good oh one more thing let's try the heated steering wheels 
and feel the heat. Okay, so I can feel the heat right now. So the heating elements working with this um, yolk steam wheel. So looks really, really cool. Let's see the overall looks um, of these steam wheels in my car. And that yoke steering wheel on my Model 3 inside matches everything. It looks so cool. Thank you so much, Brian, for your awesome um, installation. And then you know, you're kind enough to share uh, the whole process of how to uninstall and, and, and install yoke steering wheels. And um, a lot of people ask, a lot of people, you know, aftermarket parts that I put in my car. So for this yoke steering wheels, um, would it void the warranty um, that they have on Tesla? So uh, it wouldn't void the overall warranty. However, since you are installing the aftermarket steering wheel, anything that has to do with your steering wheel and the steering column itself, um, that would be an issue. However, when it comes to you getting your services and your basic needs from your warranty, that won't come into play whatsoever. However, um, with this installation video, um, you can backtrack how we took everything off. It'll be the similar process with the aftermarket steering wheel, and that way you can put your OEM one back if you ever actually need service with your steering wheel. Um, but if you do run into issues or have any other questions when it comes time for that, you can always contact us. We're more than happy to help via over the phone, or you can just come in. We can help you out in person as well. Awesome. So last but not least question, what kind of deal you have? This is the reason why I'm here to do the yoke steering wheel because they are having an awesome deals on both um, product and the installation cost. So um, how much for if they want to come and get this um, basic one with with no um, carbon fiber trim on it. So for the basic one, we are having a special with it where if you're purchasing the steering wheel and doing the install with us. Uh, we're gonna do charge you guys 550 flat. That would be with also Paul's discount code in play as well. Um, basically, usually this goes about 480, 490 from what I recall. However, with your 10% discount and the labor cost, you will be at even 550. So there's the yoke and the installation cost, the whole thing, the package is $550. If you call them and you know mention that you're from my, uh, my videos and mention the discount code, of course, that TC10, so they will get that awesome deal for you. But, uh, so I got the little bit uh, more special custom one. I think mine is about 700 something, right? Yes. Okay. So basically if you, you know, order from the website, from Test Plus website, and then you bring your own steering wheels or you meet them here with your custom steering wheels and you use, your, you use my code, you will get a um, promotion discount for the installation which is 150 150 fat for labor all right awesome thank you so much for your um, great professional um, how to install this and show me everything the whole process and you always you guys always pulled off and did an awesome job on both the sing wheels and the power front i will i will definitely come back for more stuff with you guys thank you brian no worries we appreciate it happy to have you Oh, forgot to mention, I also got this um, real carbon fiber license plate frame from Test Plus because my Model Y doesn't even come with the regular um, license, license plate frame. So, you want to check them out? Um, just go to testplus.com. Um, okay, let's um, do a little test drive on this yoke. So, this is my first time having a yoke on. So, let's do a a tight corner turn here so it's definitely definitely getting um, some use to to turn the wheels without the top part of the wheels <laughs> as you can see I missed it but regular driving wise 
it's great. It's a, it's a good position to have your hands on. It just... Ah, oh, oh, scrape! <laughs> See the turn? I missed that again. It's like I try to, you know, keep grabbing the top part. Probably take me a couple of days to get used to this, but then driving wise, I can put my hands here, feel more comfortable. Oh, on both sides, if you want to track the car. Okay, there's no car here. Let's try to do some U turn. I'm gonna do a U turn. Not that bad, actually. There you go. Yeah, it's, this is nice. It's a lot better views up here for sure. You see everything, and I think for a long drive, this this kind of help because I can, you know, easier resting my hands here because it's it's kind of square. So you can rest your hand here while you drive, you know, long trip. To so just rest your hands right here and just you know just move. Or when you're on autopilot, just rest your hands right here and then just you can just twist the wheels. This is awesome. I love the look though. This is so cool. Finally I got it done. Got the thanks to guys at um, Test Studio again. Alright, thank you guys for watching today's video. I will make sure um, to put all the information about the yoke steering wheels today with the Test Studio shop um, information in the description down below i love the look of these yoke steering wheels it's probably gonna take me a couple of days to get used to but yeah it looks really awesome in my car don't forget to click like if you like the video don't forget to subscribe for future content and check out this new merch just right below this video we'll see you on the next video peace the installation is done and i got full charge time to go home